everyone, I hope you are well. Welcome to my channel. So this is where I talk about Twin Flame process and use my psychic abilities. I'm clairsentient, clairaudient, claircognizant and clairvoyant. Um, and these are monthly readings for by sun sign, tarot readings. And um, you can apply them in any way that you want. So you can apply them to your sun sign uh, or your... Um, Wherever you've got the sign in your chart, whichever house it's related to, it could also be applicable. For example, I've done one reading already for cancer, which is about uh, finances, it seems to be, talking about money. So maybe that you want to look and see if you've got cancer, where you've got cancer in your chart, which house that's in, uh, and how it's aspected. So, um, yeah, just to let you know that. And then to also say, if anybody wants to get a personal reading, which obviously will be a lot more in depth and personally apply. Uh, you can get all the details at my website, which is um, given in the description box below. All right, so that's it. Lots of love. See you in the readings. Bye. Aquarius, July 2023. What does Sagittarius need to know? Oh, straight away they're showing me a um, man on horseback. And it is the um, Knight of Cups romance. The horse is rearing up and it's making quite a furore, a lot of noise. Um, also, the man is wearing what looks like a Russian military uniform. Um, but, you know, an old like a culturally, uh, uh, like an old style uniform with like the fur hat. I don't know what they call those hats. Um, the horse is rising up on parade, they're saying. Um, how is this relating to Sagittarius? Uh, they're saying momentous experience for you this month in terms of your life. Um, feeling that you are shining. Uh, there's some kind of feeling here that you're right about something. Like you're going to be proved right. That you're in the right. It's going to make you feel like you are flying. Uh, it's going to make you feel like you are um a fancy you know like a very fancy horse on parade basically so it's quite a vocal energy for you this month i get some people jumping up and shouting i knew it um things like that or i told you i was right <laughs> something like that you know like actually getting up out of your seat it could be to do with um Oh, this, this is just sorry. This is just um, it's like the energy now, right? There's stuff going on, like sports wise. Because what I've got is this person sat on a seat and they're jumping up, going, Yeah! So it could even be something to do with like you're right about who's going to win the cricket or, or Wimbledon or something like that. Um, or that you know, but there's a feeling of celebration. And that you know that you got you get it right. Basically, they're saying you're going to get it right this month. Um, could be something further afield, I guess. Something more to do with like what's going on in your life. But I feel like you're a little bit taken away from your life this month. Like it's not really about the usual things and the boring things. It feels it's more. Maybe you're just going to be celebrating, relaxing, kicking back. Um, that kind of stuff got 4th of July coming up as well I guess so there's those celebrations isn't there and you have some kind of sports on that I'm not quite sure what it is but I think you have some kind of ball game in the States so it feels like a bit of a kicking back energy for you this month Sagittarius um, also maybe being around people that you don't normally um, share time with so maybe unusual requests to like um, take part in 
um, events, you know, like hanging out with different people, getting invitations to places to be around people you wouldn't normally be around, out of your element a little bit. But a lot of fun, a lot of jollity, a lot of singing along, they're saying. We've got Two of Swords coming out, which is Head Over Heart. And then we've got um, Hermit, which is Wisdom. So it feels like the blinkers are coming off about something. So that is going along with this energy of you suddenly jumping up and going, oh, I knew it! <laughs> like something where you've been... Um, holding back from your own belief, your firm belief, like there's a belief deep down in your heart, deep down in your um, gut, where you're holding on to a belief, but you're not allowing the belief to come up into your head. Something that you've been talking yourself out of, something that you know is coming into being, because uh, but you're talking yourself out of it, because the jumping up is also the rising up. Is something ha something's got to happen to make you jump up, right? You when you go, I know, I knew it. Something that you've been sitting on, holding down inside yourself. Let's have a look here. The magician manifestation, but this is like, I mean, basically all bets are off. So it's different for everyone. Um, this is something held back as well. He's holding it all back, right, with his hands up. Um, but the elements are bringing it into being. So it's magical. Whatever it is, it's going to be a magic. They just said a magical turn of events. Um, now, again, I'm getting this, this. It's like a ball game, all right? So it's like your team winning when you really wanted them to, but you're holding it down because you, you don't want to believe they could because normally they don't. <laughs> You know, so you don't want to put yourself in the position of, like, disappointment. So it's something like that. Like, you you know something's coming. You know it's going to happen, but you've always been saying it's not going to happen. It's not. It can't happen. It won't happen. Because you don't want the disappointment, the feeling of disappointment. But it's going to happen, whatever it is. So we're talking about Twin Flame Process. That's probably reunion for some. Um, so it can signify that as well. Uh, but you might have... Uh, elements happening before that which are other events so you're going to be guided into understanding how much you can read between the lines two of swords is reading between the lines going by what you feel and then you can believe in what you feel because what you feel does come to pass pass despite the fact you tell yourself it can't so there can be many instances of that um, which is the same energy as not believing you're coming into a physical reunion as someone, even though you feel it will happen, because everything is an outcome of everything, and everything is the same in the way that it's energetically represented, no matter what it is. So feeling like you want your um, football team to win, but holding that feeling down and not believing it in your head because you don't want the disappointment of them not winning, again... Is the same as holding down inside you the feeling that you will be reconnected with someone because you feel that it's really, 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 really true, but you don't tell yourself it can't possibly be because you don't want to be d disappointed by it not happening again. So we've got the wisdom around things changing, coming into wisdom, and a manifestation taking place. So it could be from the smallest to the biggest. So it can, again, it can be from you, you know, picking the right lottery numbers to twin flame reunion just something that you didn't think could happen justice so being proved right like they said justice is about rightness you knew it and you knew you were right and you were right <laughs> it's gonna happen this month um, Empress rebirth <laughs> so that's the jumping up from the seat right I knew it I was right all along. That's what's coming out of you this month. In whatever the different for everyone, I guess. Whatever it is. Eight of Swords connection through the mind. So in Twin Flame process, you're connected connected through thinking and how the mind is used. The mind is literally a program. So you are disassembling inside your brains 
what is disbelief as you move through the process. Right? By believing in the impossible, they're saying the impossible dream. Right? So at the end of the process when rebirth occurs, it's because the belief in the dream is is more profound than the disbelief in the dream. The possibility. It becomes a possible dream, not the impossible dream. And the jumping up from the seat, I knew I was right, is a very, very similar energy to the energy of, oh, to hell with it. I'm just going to do it and let's see. <laughs> Which is how the reunion takes place, because it is devoid of mental activity. So we got here, clearing through the brain in regard to what is being reborn. Five of Pentacles, which is separation. Separation from source. This is like the goal, right? Is the um, ball of light. Is the ball, is the goal, is the ball hitting the goal. It's the same energy of the two people separated by the event and the jumping up for the, the seat and the goal. It's a goal. It's your team taking a, getting a goal, basically. It's the energy of that, and that's the manifestation. It's just one kick, right? You only need one kick for a goal. You only need one shout out for like the event to take place. One jumping up from the seat, one to hell with it. It only takes one goal. Let's go here. Clarity, Knight of Swords, and that's a clear shot. <laughs> All right, so that's that same energy, one clear shot. You know, like the Hand of God, <laughs> the Maradona, they called it the Hand of God, right? Uh, which was, uh, I'm not quite sure what it was, it's just applicable, that term. <laughs> because I think it was a goal that was not really a goal, but it was. it happened anyway. And it happened and things are meant to happen if they happen doesn't matter how they happen <laughs> or how many people don't want it to happen or would say it didn't happen somehow it happens the eye the thread passes through the eye of a needle right so that's how it happens clarity <sighs> brand new beginning in the physical world ace of pentacles so again we've got something here that can't be believed that's holding down the heart. It doesn't matter about this because it's going to take place anyway. It doesn't matter if it can't be believed, like the hand of God. It doesn't matter. It's going to happen anyway. Right? So, and it's like um, Wimbledon. It's like when you've got um, an umpire shouting out the, uh, you know, whether it was in or it was out. And then you've got the players and they're arguing, no, it was out, it was out. And once it's in, it's in. But it doesn't matter what they're saying. Because the umpire's a god, the umpire decides it's in or it's out. Are you in or are you out? It's the hand of God again. So it's the same thing, right? If it's going to happen, it's going to happen no matter what. Because the umpire, the judgment, says it's so. So one way or another, because it's meant to be that way. It's got to be that way. So it's the same thing. So it's reborn no matter. Reborn, here it is in the physical, no matter what. The head decides it's gonna it's gonna believe. It's coming through the energy of the heart, which is the moon under the swords, into the physical. The moon is the emotions. It's coming through the energy of feeling. All right, and this is the brain in flux anyway. The eight of swords. That's an infinite connection. That's movement in the eight there. So. That's how it can pass through the mind, right? How the hand of God happens, because it can pass through with even what the mind says can be possible. It can come through that, because it can get through the bars of the mind. Ace of Wands, which is point of attraction. So that's pure energy. So it's the energetic potential that's underneath the rebirth here. As bringing it into being. So the center of the reading is all about bringing something into being through an energetic principle, which is quantum, right? Which means that it's not nothing happens due to the brain. The brain isn't quantum. Quantum is vibration. Everything happens due to vibration. 
right so um and they're showing me like these things that used to that you have the in the human um existence where it's like a picture of something and you can clearly see in the picture um that things are different than the the way that we're told things were and it's right in front of your eyes it's different but no the belief the the be belief the current belief is around how it wasn't that at all and how we're just um so the mind has no place basically in what in, in belief and possibilities it's all beyond mind something like that going on Sagittarius this month you just have to see what happens I guess lots of love see you next time bye